Well, welcome back to Snarling Crow Studios. Um, what I'm doing today is uh, the top part of a large uh, Trojan a Spartan Knight type of mascot. And sometimes I like to do things a little bit different. Um, it's just for creativity's sake. Instead of doing a complete sculpture, what I like to do sometimes is I like to do the actual head and the upper part of the shoulders first. And that way I've got this. And I can cast this in foam and affix it atop something that's very lightweight. This particular piece right here is just really heavy because of what I use underneath of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm in the first part of making a mold on this thing. And what I've done on this particular piece is I've actually went down the middle, which is something I, did, I don't normally do, but you can tell that I've split down the middle here. And this is something I normally don't do. Usually I come down the head, around the ear, outermost portion, come down the outside the neck and then down the shoulders on pieces like this because it's easier to clean up. But on this particular piece, because it's coming down the helmet, you know, and it comes to a point, it'll be a whole lot easier to clean up. It stays off the face and only gets onto the lip and onto the part of the goatee, which, by the way, this was, this was like my version of King Leonidas of the Spartans. And he's in a screaming mode. But what I've done, as you can tell, this material here is I've taken this aluminum flashing and I just, you buy it at any Home Depot, Lowe's, or anything like this, and then you cut this, and then I position it on my mark, on my cutout, on a marked line, and I go all the way around the piece. And then to join everything in, I take this aluminum tape that has a backing to it, and I just tear off a little bit, and I join all the seams up uh, between the uh, aluminum flashing. And it creates a really, really sturdy uh, seam line so that you can do a mold in what they call a metric or a matrix mold. And you can do it without doing one side and then have to go to the other side. You can actually apply all the rubber at one time. And then the outer shell can be applied. And when you pop this apart, you pull all this out. And because it's so thin, it's not going to create no gap within the mother mold material and the rubber part closes up anyhow. So what I'll do is I'll take a uh, a, a mix of a release of uh, naphtha and Vaseline and I'll coat this entire thing and I'm going to put a beauty coat or a detail coat of rubber on. And that's where I'm at right now. Just show you this part right here and uh, we may come back and show you more of the molding part once I get some rubber on later.